Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can automatically add today's date depending on a trigger cell. And the trigger will be either approved or pending. So if it says approved, I want today's date to appear in a cell. Now, first of all, in cell A1, I need a list. So I'm going to the data tab and across to data validation to get myself a list. So it says any value, select list. Now you can type a list. So I'll type approved, comma, and then just pending as the other option, like that. Click OK. Just check that that's in there. So they're there. So what I want to happen now is today's date to go into cell C1. If I select approve, I want that to go into C1. So if I go equals if, open the bracket, click on A1. So if that equals approved, comma, put today, the today function will put today's date in there. However, and then just finish it off, comma, if it's, blank, if it's not approved, I want it to be blank. Close the bracket on the if. So that will put today's date in if I tick that and select approved it just put today's date in it's not formatted if i go back to home and just select that as a date short date you see that has put today's date in and, and if i knock that back to pending it'll get rid of that the problem with that is that date is the computer clock the today function moves forward in time so tomorrow that's going to say the 10th and so on and so on. So that isn't what I want. I want a date stamp. Now to do that, I need to put some Visual Basic code in the editor. So I'll just paste the code there so you can see it. That's what I'm gonna paste into the editor. This code will insert the date, assuming you're using A1 as the trigger cell and C1 is where you want the date. Otherwise you'll have to change those. It's gonna put the date in as a value so then it won't change over. So if I delete this formula, get rid of that, just put that back to pending so we can just see it from, in fact, I'll just delete that completely. So there's nothing in there. So to get into the editor, the Visual Basic editor, you can go, there is a key command, but you can just right click down here and view code. And then you basically just paste that code in there. And then that is it. I need to save this. It's going to ask me to save this as a macro enabled workbook, which I will do. I'll just call it, I'll just call that Steve and I'll put it into documents. And it needs to be a macro enabled workbook. Like so, save and then close this window down. So now this code should run. If I open this, select approved. It automatically puts the date in there and it is just as if as if I type that text and then that will not move so that's basically all I want to talk about in this little video how you can get a date to automatically appear dependent on a trigger cell so hopefully this video has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one